All right, team, we are away for what is the first of what will be a series of 15 minute workouts, um, different types of equipment and modalities that we'll work through. Today is gonna to be a single dumbbell or kettlebell, anything that you have at home, working through, just keeping you moving, keeping things tough. I've only got 15 minutes, so I'm gonna talk our way through it as we go. I'm gonna have a 45 second clock going as we work our way through, 15 second rest. We'll start it now, trying to keep me on, uh, on schedule more than anything. So we've got two minute rounds or two 45 second rounds here for our warm ups. What we're gonna start off with, you're gonna squat down, nice and slowly rotating back, change sides, so I want one each side, and then stand. We're gonna work through this for our first 45. Squat, reach, back, reach, back, Stand, we're gonna alternate which side we're working through on this next one. Right arm first, back, left, first, up. Two little minutes of warm ups before we get into the tougher stuff. Up, last one if we can sneak it in here. Next thing we're gonna work through, our final little warm up as we do quite often in our virtual classes, an inchworm. So we're gonna start that in five, standing, folding forward. So I'm standing here, knees are straight, folding forward, nice slow walk out. When I get to the bottom here, I'm going to stretch, looking up to the ceiling, keeping my knees nice and locked out, slowly I'll walk up to the top and stand. And again, folding nice and slow. Big stretch. Slowly back up. Stand. Slowly back down. We'll finish this last one off. Big stretch and slowly back up. All right, round one, first thing, 10 goblet squats. Grab the load you have, squatting low, 10 reps. We've got this twice through. Whatever load you have, holding up at your chest. I'm very bad at keeping count, so that's gonna catch me here. Nine, 10, popping our load down. Straight into a pop squat, starting tall. Squat, fast feet at the top. Working through this now for the remainder of the 45 seconds. 15 to go. Two, one. All right, shaking them out. Now, how low? Next exercise, single arm thruster. So, dumbbell in my hand, five on one side, five on the other. Then we're into ice skaters. So one, driving through to the top. Three, four, five. And I change. One, two, three, Four, last one, five. Now I'm into my ice skate as dumbbell comes down. I've got 20 seconds, step, touch, jump, step and touch. Working our way through, got 10 seconds to go. We're trying to get through as many as we can. Beautiful, 15 seconds off. Then we are back to the top. I'm gonna get rid of these Bluetooth ear pods. They're struggling. All right, so we are back to our goblet squat and pop squat. Now, dumbbell, let's go. One, two, three. Knees out, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, dumbbell comes down, pop squats, fast feet. Two, 
10 more seconds. All right, 15 seconds to shake them out. Back into that single arm thruster. Five and five. Make sure we're hitting a good finish position at the top. I know I'm slightly off camera, but I want to study how we're locked out at the top, okay? Let's go, five and five. And change. Onto the ice skaters, we've got 15 seconds. Working through, watch what's around you. Big steps, stay dynamic. Two, one. All right, 15 seconds rest. Same thing, two new exercises. We're going working through a reverse lunge and a bear crawl now. Okay, starting in five. Dumbbell once again. Up at our chest, holding here, big step backwards, watch what's around once again, alternating legs, got five and five. All right, bear crawls, whatever space you've got, However many you can get in, forward, then into reverse. Working through, we've got 10 more seconds. All right, 15 second breather. Down and into position for a butterfly sit up. Soles of your feet are together. The weight you have, overhead, coming back up for 10. Then we're into a crossover crunch. So I'm here, dumbbells coming back. Once again, pay attention to how much room you've got. There's 10 for me, you might be done already if you are. Next exercise, feet are up, opposite leg extends, side to side, really getting that torso rotation, extending that opposite leg out as much as we can, rotating, and that's the, the second of those two rounds. We're working through that once more from the top. Reverse lunges with our load, starting that in five, then, Back into those bear crawls. Let's go. Stay nice and tall with the torso. We got 10, three. Bear crawls. About 10 seconds. And I'm done. I'm down and into position. A bit more space here for those butterfly steps this time through. About 10 seconds. Stretching out, stay compact. Stretch out overhead. Catch the toes as you come through. 10. Let's go. After this round, on to a new couplet. That'll be our final one. That's seven for me. Remember, if you're faster, straight onto the crossover crunches. Think about that quick. 
quality, even though this is a short, sharp workout. Alternating now. We want quality over five seconds. All right, 15 second breather. Our next two exercises. First is a step up using the bench behind me. Upper body step up, we'll show you that in a tick. Then onto a basic plank hold. So, starting in my push up position, I step up and back down. Keeping that strong plank position. Just five of these. Four. Five. And then I'm holding my push up plank position for the remainder of the 45. From my push up plank position, I'm locked out, elbows straight, wrists under my shoulders, holding in that position, making sure we've got a straight line from my hip through to my heel and up to my shoulder. 10 more seconds here. Breathe through it. Quads are on. All right, last couplet. Glute walkouts and a kick sit. So our glute walks out, another one we're gonna just do five of. I'm here, I'm up with a glute bridge. I'm slowly walking out till my bum touches the ground and slowly walking back. Hamstrings and glutes are on fire. There's two for me. Four, short little steps, and five. Onto my kick sits, remaining 10 seconds now, I'm up, foot's coming through, and I'm swiveling. Side to side, threading the needle. All right, there's me done on that last round. First lap, back to the step ups and then the plank. We've got five seconds and we go. Two, one, up and down. Just five. Trying to stay in a strong position as I do it. All right, I'm onto my plank. Forearms are down, hips are down, glutes are down, shoulders are flat. Breathing through. I've got 15 seconds. Probably don't want to look at my back. Make sure I'm locking out. Holding strong. Last 10 seconds. We want to try and stay in this push-up position if we can. Love four, three, two, one. All right, onto our glute hammy walkouts and then kick sits once again. Last round, we're onto a little cool down. Keeping it within that 15 minutes. All right. Go time. Let's do it. One, two. I'm getting six steps in. One. Three reps in for me. Four. Last one. Kick sits. What have I got left? Not long. Three, two. All right. That's us. On the work. Onto a little cool down. We're going to work through. One thing I like for us all to work through quite a bit is a couch stretch position. Foot up on that step that we've been doing our step ups on, if need be. My knees up and getting that extra flexion. Arm up, leaning over. I've got 10 seconds left if I'm gonna nail this. I want you to hold that for about 20 seconds either side. So then changing, squeezing, driving through and I'm up. There's my 15 minutes, all right. If you're wanting to up things a little, you can obviously take those couplets that we did two rounds of, increase it to three, or increase it to four, 
depending on however many minutes you've got. In the workout we did yesterday in our virtual hit class, we actually did five rounds through of each couplet, so it was 10 minutes work. Today we've only done four minutes work. Okay, so a lot of additional um, time blocks that you can do just to make things that little bit more difficult. I obviously had you guys working at 10 or five repetitions for our buy-in exercise. You can increase that to say 20 reps, say for something like the goblet squat, or you might reduce it back like there's glute workouts. I was taking quite a bit of time to do them slow and controlled. You might reduce that back to say only two if you're wanting to get more of the kick sits in. Real basic way, 15 minute workout. Hopefully you're finding that valuable. Once again, only bit of it of uh, weight that we use for that was a single kettlebell or a dumbbell if you've got it. And we could obviously do all of those exercises bar the thruster with no load at all. So give that a go. Let me know what you think. See you in a virtual class very soon. Cheers.